Okay, here's an example of a separable differential equation. So we have dy by dx equals a function of x, in this case it's e to the x, times a function of y, in this case it's 1, one minus y squared, the square root of that. So, let's recall how to solve this. We can move all of the x's to one side of the equation and all of the y's to another side. So that'll give us dy over the square root of 1 minus y squared equals e to the x dx. Okay, good. Now, the next thing that we can do is take the antiderivative of both sides. So we get the antiderivative of dy over the square root of 1 minus y squared equals the antiderivative of e to the x dx. Okay, great. So now we're ready to kind of recall from integral calculus what these two antiderivatives are. So the right-hand side is pretty easy. The antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x plus some constant, then the antiderivative of the left-hand side may seem pretty tricky, but if you remember that it is somehow related to some inverse trig function, you'll probably come up with this is the inverse sine or the arc sine of y. Okay, good. Now if we want to put this into a explicit form instead of an implicit form, we can evaluate um, both sides of this function by, or both sides of this equation by sine, and that will leave us with y equals sine of e to the x plus some constant. Okay, good. So now let's say on top of this, we had some initial condition. Could we use those to solve for C? And most likely we could. So let's say our first initial condition was y of 0 equals 1. <clears throat> so let's see. That means we'll plug in the point 0, 1 into this equation. So that'll give us 1 equals sine of e to the 0, which is 1 plus a constant. Now we can look at values for when sine is equal to 1, and so pi over 2 comes to mind. And so we get 1 plus c equals pi over 2. In other words, c equals pi over 2 minus 1. And so that will be our, exp or our uh, solution for this initial condition. So now let's look at another one. Let's say we have the initial condition y of 0 equals 3. So that means we need to solve the equation 3 equals sine of 1 plus a constant. But if you remember the facts about trig functions, the sine function is always between negative 1 and 1, but 3 is obviously larger than 1, so there's no solution here. So there's no solution for C. Okay, good, so this is uh, finished with this example.